Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography, and in this video, we're going to be unboxing the Rode PSA-1 Studio Arm. So let's get into it. since I've done an unboxing, but I got this in today and I've been looking forward to getting this for a little while uh, to go with my Rode NT-USB Mini. Now I bought this because all the reviews said the cheap ones were just rubbish, so I thought by the best you can afford, I got the Rode version, Australian company, support Australian, that's what, uh, it's just a nice little Aussie thing to do. but. It's supposed to be a brilliant arm as well. So I'm gonna keep the unboxing pretty quick because I don't really want to uh, bore your time because I'm sure that there's probably quite a few unboxing videos and stuff on the internet. So let's figure out how on earth to get this thing out of the box. Oh, that was easy. Okay. And now I'll just unpull a little tab there, flick that open. And here is what we have inside the box, or not. Let's open it on this side, there we go. All right, so let's open this. That's our arm, that's the little adapter piece. There's something else in here. Let's see what it is. It's pretty well packed actually, it's nicely bubble wrapped. Okay, so that's the mounting base part. And I can hear something else sliding around too. That's it. Got it. Don't know what it is. Ah. Right. So here is what we have in the box. And I didn't really need the knife for this. But we've got in here the permanent fixture mount, which is just pretty much for uh, putting it through a hole in your desk. And it's got little road engravings on it, so that's quite nice, but I'm not permanently fixing it to the desk, so that can go back in the box. Now, we have the mounting adapter, and this is the one that I will be using for my desk uh, to mount it onto the edge. So I will, just unscrew this a little bit. And in the top here is where the actual arm goes. It seems like quite a solid build. This top bit's plastic, this arm bit's actually metal, uh, and so is the screw mount, so that should stay pretty firm. This little gold adapter piece is for adapting to bigger mounting holes on certain microphones. And then last but not least, we have a microphone stand arm thing. There we go, that worked. Okay, and use that for some other packaging. So it says caution, spring loaded, and it's got a nice little foam insert there. So I'm just going to get the knife Hold this together, uh, hold that, and then cut through there. Take it off, and there we go. So that's it, really. So essentially, this is going to go onto the desk, which I'll show you in just a second. And then that will sit in there, and it'll spin around and do the hokey pokey. So on here, it's got the actual adapting part, which I think is meant for Rode microphones or something. So, well, that's obvious. So now that we've got it out of the box, let's take this over to the desk, attach the microphone, attach the boom arm, and see how it works. And I'll give you a little bit of a comparison of audio on how it sounds with the Rode Wireless Go in comparison to the NT-USB Mini. Now, if you've seen my desk setup video, which I think I put out a few months ago at this point, you would probably notice that this desk setup has changed. So I will eventually redo a 
uh, desk set up because I really like how this is set up and, and looking and feeling, especially to work. But I digress. I've attached the base to just behind this shelf unit here and it fits really well and really comfortably. So I will thread the actual wire and everything through here to make it look all neat and then plug it into the base stand of the monitor here. But when the microphone's on, it should sit about here, which will make it really great to be able to pull over and do some actual voice and audio stuff should I need to. So I'm gonna set that up now and then I will switch over to the NT-USB Mini and see the difference in vocals. So now, as you can see, the NT-USB Mini is stuck really nicely on the boom arm and the counterweight of the actual microphone is pretty heavy. Um, it just balances it out perfectly and obviously the, the arm is designed to be able to use with Rode microphones, so I wasn't really expecting anything less. But now, I can literally just pull it over, so if I'm going to be doing uh, some kind of voiceover or um, something that requires me to actually have a good quality studio USB microphone as well. And I'm going to switch over right now to the NT-USB Mini so you can hear the difference between the Rode Wireless Go and the USB microphone. So for voiceover work and everything like that, this boom arm is just holding it so perfectly right where I need it to be able to talk and speak to you guys as if I'm actually doing a voiceover in a computer for a video, for some kind of um, audio, podcast, whatever it may be, this microphone is going to be the one that I'm using for it. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below. Let me know if you're in the market for one. If you are, there's a link in the description down below as well to Amazon, which is an affiliate link, doesn't cost you anything extra, and it helps support this channel. So I will see you in the next video.